My name is Dr. Ghaffar Kiani and I am an associate professor in the field of electronics engineering. Welcome to my channel. Today I will explain you how to measure transmission through a device uh, using a very simple method. In this method, we are not using any horn antennas or any anechoic chamber. And this is quite simple and also quite cost effective. So to measure the transmission through a device under test, which could be an energy saving glass, it could be a frequency selective surface or a meta, meta material. Uh, we have created a board or a screen which is six feet by five feet. And in this sheet, in this metallic sheet, we have created a 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter square hole where the device under the test will be put. Here we are using two log periodic antennas. Here are the log periodic antennas. These log periodic antennas are from a company uh, which is Ariona and these are their antennas called Hyperlog. The details and the links are given in the description below. These log periodic antennas operate in the frequency band of 700 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. The kind of research which we are doing in our research group is basically to test and to see that when we put an energy saving glass in a modern building architecture, what will be the effect on the useful signals of RF and microwave frequencies. As I explained in my previous video, and the link is given above here, that when we put an energy saving glass in the windows or in the big building architecture, uh, there is one advantage that those energy saving glass structures actually save energy by putting or by sputtering a coating on one side of the glass. However, this coating also creates a problem, a drawback, and the drawback is that this building will have problem in the communication of RF and microwave signals, including GSM, including 4G, 3G, TV signals, radio signals. So the solution to this problem is to etch frequency selective surfaces in the glass uh, to make sure that we enhance the communication in the useful RF and microwave signals by keeping the thermal efficiency at a good level. This etching and the, 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 the process of doing all this will be explained in the next video. However, today I am only explaining how to measure the transmission through an energy saving glass or an FSS or any other device through using this very simple method. So let's start. Here are the two log periodic antennas which are aiming at each other. These log periodic antennas are operating from 700 megahertz to 6 gigahertz. And this is the frequency, the range of our interest. The antennas are connected to a network, vector network analyzer. Here is our vector network analyzer. This is from a company called Tektronics and the model number is TTR506A. Uh, this is connected using a USB cable to the computer here. And this computer has the software where we can do this measurement and it can be seen that the antennas are working from about 700 megahertz and are going to 6 gigahertz and this vector network analyzer also allows us to measure the frequency response within this band. So port 1 is connected from here and it is going toward one antenna and the port 2 is going toward the other antenna. So one antenna is on this side. Here is the antenna. And the other antenna on the other side. And both antennas have been connected to the vector network analyzer to measure the transmission 
through that particular window. So now I will explain you how to do the measurement, what are the steps and how to calibrate the vector network analyzer for this particular scenario. Now let us calibrate our vector network analyzer. I have taken these two cables uh, detached from our log periodic antennas. So I will show you how to do the calibration uh, for port number one and then the same procedure will be applied to port number two. So here is my port number one. Here is the cable. I have connected it to the vector network analyzer. This is port number one and this is connected uh, to the cable which is going to my antenna number one. So here it is. Now I have my with me the provided uh, calibration kit where we can do the open, we can do the short and also through and the load. However, in our case we will be doing only open and the short for two ports while for through and for load we will connect our antennas. So let us start first of all let me show you the software here. So this is the software. In the software, uh, first we have to go to the stimulus, start, here is our frequency. So our antennas operate from 700 megahertz, which is 0.7 gigahertz. So we say okay. So here we have put the initial value. Now we go to the next stop in the stop it is already 6 gigahertz so we select 6 gigahertz so that's how we have selected the frequency the frequency range now let us go to the cal under the response go to calibration under the calibration there are many other options where we have to click the calibrate in calibrate we have two port SOLT, so we click that and this window will appear here. In the subclass it is already showing mail to mail DUT device under test and there are other defaults but we will use this option. So now here with my device I will connect this my port number one, here is my port number one which have we connected. So this is open, my port number one. So we, I will go here and then I will say open. So the open has been done for port number one. Now I will show you how to do the short one. As you can see now, I have connected my port number one to the short of the calibration kit. And again here, we go to port number one and then click the short. Once I click the short, the short is already done. So this is the same thing, the same procedure I will repeat for port number two. So after calibrating for short and open using the cal kit, I have now connected these cables to the antennas, my two antennas. Now these antennas will serve as load. So I will do the calibration for load uh, using these antennas and also the through using these antennas. So after connecting the antennas, now we will go back to our calibration. And in our calibration for port one, our log periodic antenna is a load. So we press load and similarly, for port number two, our load is antenna, so antenna is a load, so I press this one. And the next thing which we have to do is the through, and through is also uh, from one antenna to other, uh, going through that 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter square window. So I will do through. So once I have done this through, and then I will apply. Once I have applied this, I will go to my stimulus to response and then say S21 
minus 2 1 and this is a straight line. We can see some error over here. However, this is the process which we have to follow. So, this is how we have to do the calibration of these antennas. Now, if we put a device under test, we will see the result for that particular device, either it is a frequency selective surface or energy saving glass. So, in the next step, I will show you by inserting an energy saving glass, an ordinary glass and then a frequency selective surface, how we get the response. After calibrating the vector network analyzer, uh, I have inserted this glass sample which is double glazed, two glass which is one side glass is uh, soft coated and the coating is inside. However, the other side is uh, the ordinary glass and as we know that because of the coating on the glass, there is an attenuation to the useful RF and microwave signals which fall from 700 megahertz to 2.2 gigahertz. So, let me show you that what we are getting right now. So, if we look at our curve over here, it can be easily seen that from 700 megahertz to 2.4, 2.5 is almost 20 dB attenuation. That means that if this glass window or this glass has been used in modern building architecture, uh, there will be problem in communicating GSM signals, 2G signal, 3G signal, 4G signal, 5G signals and also the TV and other uh, communication systems. And to solve this issue, we can edge frequency selective surface in the glass so that we can improve the transmission. This topic will be covered in another video. Here is an ordinary glass which has been inserted in this window which is 30 centimeter by 70 centimeter. This glass do not have any coating on it. So, let us have a look what type of response we are getting from this particular ordinary or float glass. So, if we go here and have a look, we can see that uh, from 700 megahertz until 2.3, 2.4 gigahertz which is the frequency band of interest, there is almost there is no attenuation to RF and microwave signal. So, this glass will not stop any of the microwaves on useful signals. So, there is no problem with this particular glass. Now, the hard coat energy saving glass, this is single glaze or one glass, only single glass. As you can see, this is just a single glass. However, this glass has coating on its one side, which is hard coat. And now, let us have a look what type of transmission we are getting through this particular glass. So, if we look at the results here, we can notice that from 700 megahertz to about 2.4 gigahertz, an average of about 20 dB uh, transmission attenuation can be seen. This means that the useful RF and microwave signals uh, will not be passing or will get attenuated uh, because of this coating. So, the solution to the problem is that we can edge frequency selective surfaces inside this coating so that the transmission can be improved. However, there will be some loss of heat, uh, but there are ways to handle that which will be explained in another video. Now, a frequency selective surface has been inserted in this window. This is a sample frequency selective surface. Uh, just to explain or just to show that either we are measuring the glass, simple glass or single glaze hard coat or double glaze soft coat glass or any other uh, device such as frequency selective surface or meta material and we are actually mining the transmission. So, let us see what type of transmission we are getting just to show you that this 
calibration method works properly and we can see here the curve for this particular FSS. This is the response for this particular FSS. So this is how we can measure transmission through a frequency selective surface or energy saving glass using this very simple system using two log periodic antennas, vector network analyzer and using the technique which I already explained. If you have liked this video then please consider subscribing to my channel and also like and share this video. Until the next video, goodbye.